and welcome to a draw and tell story time. Uh, I'm joining you from the Carlisle King story room, which has this beautiful painting on the wall of a jungle. And today I'm joining you from the library, which is located on Treaty 6 territory and the traditional homeland of the Métis. And we're so happy to be here to share stories with you. So a draw and tell story, if you've never seen one, is one where you draw a picture on a whiteboard or a piece of paper or anything while you're telling the story. So if you wanna draw with me while I tell the story, uh, you can get yourself a paper and a pen or marker or a dry erase board, and you can follow along or you can rewatch the video at the end to learn how to do it and maybe surprise a friend with it later. So this story is called The Needed Haircut. And I like this story because it makes me think of my kids. And while we've been at home during the pandemic, I've had to be the one giving haircuts a lot lately. And every time I call my three-year-old Arthur for his haircut, he says, no, and he runs away really fast. And that's exactly what happens in this story. So here we go. Once upon a time, there was a wild boy with wild hair. Sticking up off the top of his head like that. It was so wild and fluffy and long, you could barely see his face. And every time his mom said, hey, come here, it's time for a haircut, he would use his long, long legs and run away with his long, long legs, just like that. And one day when he was running, he saw something really cool that gave him a great idea. When he was running away from his mom for his haircut, he saw a skateboard and he thought, oh, That'll make me really fast and she'll never catch me. I won't have to get a haircut. So he jumped on his skateboard. And he took off down the neighborhood. And he was going so fast. He was going so, so fast down the neighborhood. And he's having trouble with his balance. His arms are waving in the air. And he was skateboarding, skateboarding, and mom said, come back, it's time for your haircut. And he said, no, <laughs> and he laughed and laughed. And then the one day when he was doing it, he forgot what he was doing. He forgot he was running from a haircut because he was having so much fun skateboarding. And he thought, you know what would make this skateboard even more fun? If I added a big long handle to it. Kind of a silly idea, but why not? He added a big handle to his skateboard. And he kept skateboarding around. And finally he came back by his house and his mom came out and said, hey, it's time for your haircut, come inside. And he said, no, I'm too good at skateboarding. I'm just gonna keep skateboarding. In fact, I'm gonna try it with my eyes closed. And his mom said, no, don't do that. You might, you might run into something. He said, no, 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 I'm so good at skateboarding. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it with my eyes closed. Closed his eyes and he kept skateboarding. And he ran into something. He ran into a big, big pokey bush. A big pokey bush like that and he got all tangled up. Well, his mom came running out she said, are you okay? Unfortunately, he was okay. So she helped him pick up his skateboard and she walked into the door and she said, are you ready for your haircut now? And oh, he took a deep breath. And he gave it a little roar one last time. And she said, I know you don't want to, but you'll feel better once your hair's been cut a little bit. And, and he's any he kindly obliged. She said, okay, this time. Do you see what it is? The surprise of our drawing tell was a lion. So that was our story for today about the boy with the wild hair who needed a haircut. Oh, turned out to be a little lion. And I hope you try it at home. 
Maybe you can share it with a friend or something like that and ha let them have the little lion surprise. So that was our draw and tell for today. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.